okay, this is your weak point, are gonna attack you. They would be obliged to help her or to help him. You're not just giving your money, you're just giving your trust, your connection to that person. One thing that you have to remember also is like, you are the eye candy of like greedy person. Welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme, Esme Vlogs. So today's subject, the nightmares of being too generous. Before we start, thank you so much for your pagigugma and support our channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos before we begin for sure they really miss us right like yeah. together <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty much sure aside from our review in the massage or something yeah i I'm pretty much sure you missed us sitting here discussing a topic <laughs> this kind of uh, environment <laughs> <laughs> of course uh, I'm pretty much sure that it's been a long time. Yeah, because we usually interview online, <laughs> uh, Filipinas, but now, okay, we're back. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have to really explain this kind of uh, subject because now Filipinas are, they really know that foreigners are too generous yeah, mostly they're getting wiser yeah they're getting wiser yes some filipinas would think ah there is a foreigner mm. i'm i'm smelling money yes <laughs> even the women that i interview they know already that mostly foreigners are too generous yes and most of them are financially stable but that's all what they think about they don't really understand that they work their butts off in their their country they don't they assume things that way that most of you are wealthy okay but now this subject why it's become the nightmare yeah so people or filipino women not all but some would always try to get money from you, especially if you're generous. How? That's the question. Yes. So the big question, how do they get money from me? By not really saying, can I have money? Or by asking money? Yeah. So how do they do that? The tricky, tricky thing is they would always try to have this emotional attachment to you first. Yeah, so be friends they're wise enough to build a connection or a rapport like okay i'm gonna get his feelings yes i'm gonna test him or I'm gonna know his witness yes they want to know you more and you would notice that because every time she or he would open an emotional problem towards you. Correct. And yes. we're not just talking about Filipina, okay? Yes. So we're not just talking about Filipina, people that you know. Yes, in the Philippines, especially if they think that you have the money. So they would try to have the scenario that, oh, my grandpa, my grandparents, my mother is ill right now. Well, I, that's, that's yeah, common. That's For sure, really common. you know that already. But the thing is, they will just play with your emotion or feelings. That's the tricky right now. Until such time that they will know that okay, this is your weak point are gonna attack you yes but they would not attack directly they would attack slowly and slowly and you cannot know that yeah that's what i actually noticed to those types of people that has a low profile of scamming 
Because if you are like those type of people that I will scam you and get money, bulk money from you, you would notice that right away. These people are low profile. We're talking about people that would really try to get money from you slowly, little by little. Yeah, low profile, but on the other hand, they are really wise and knowledgeable on how to get money from you. Yes, that's true. Especially if you're the type of person that is easily like you get emotional if they would try to to like open up about their problems and they would cry in front of you. Better for you to do is you have to set boundaries at the beginning. Yes. So that that person or Filipina will be having like a limitation also. Yes. That okay, this foreigner is not easy guy. That's true. And they would think, oh, he's a little bit strict. I, I don't want to try to trick him because I guess he's not the same as other foreigners that I've encountered with. So yeah. they they would limit themselves towards you. Exactly. And you know what? Nowadays also as I saw in uh, Rafi Tulfo's channel, there are still a lot of foreigners being scammed. Yeah, it's because they would always try to be comfortable with the Fili Filipina right away, not knowing the Filipina has this huge plan towards him. So they would directly trust right away, even though they don't know the person, and they would be obliged to help her or to help him, and they would think that, oh, I'm already helping someone, maybe this is okay. But in his scenario right now, they're already getting a lot from him. Yeah, and some of these victims also, they already like build um, a connection, a relationship for so long. Yes. They just figure it out in a long run in their relationship. Yes, because you already know the scenario that every now and then there would be like a problem in one month they have a problem with this and that and they would try to trigger your emotion and trap you corner you and that way you can give money to to them right yeah and i guess this is like a common sense for everyone that we have to think we have to be wise to not just trust the person right away it's because you're not just giving your money, you're just giving your trust, your connection to that person. That's true. And there are also Filipinos and Filipinas that would have a thick face that would really approach you and borrow money from you because they know that you have money. They would ask, oh, can I borrow this? I would just give you if I have money. Well, for me, I think it's okay for, for example, it, just for once. If it is like successive, that's different. Yeah, that's a different scenario and they don't really pay back the money that they owe. Right. So that's also some Filipinos or some Filipinos are like that. They would think that since you're already close, they would ask, oh, can I borrow from money from you? And they would successively do that like maybe in a month they would borrow twice or twice, depends. And because of you have this already relationship, close relationship to each other, you cannot say no. Yeah, because you are emotionally attached to the person. Yes. And one thing that you have to remember also is like, you are the eye candy of like greedy person. Yeah, greedy people would really know you right away, especially if you act flashy. So they would, oh, there's a good target. Yeah, so that's why don't open your wallet in front of your Filipina or the people, people yeah surrounding you yes that's true especially if you think that oh I, I'm, I'm already comfortable with them we don't know some people are already targeting you as their piggy bank correct yes don't don't do that again don't open your wallet to people that you just met absolutely and same thing with the online or dating sites so you have to be wise don't trust the person or the filipina right away though there are still good filipinas online 
Yes, they are. They really are searching for a partner, but you really need to thoroughly search for it. Don't jump right away to the first Filipina that you see online or chat online. Even though you would say that, oh, we've been chatting for like six months, a year, two years. No, you never seen the person yet. And you never know the person yet in personal. Like you need to really know the person in front of you, not through the computer. Again, take time to know the person and be wise. That's our advice, guys. True. So thank you so much, guys, for watching till the end. And we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate? Just love. Bye! Bye.